Hello everyone, uh, my name is David, or as I'm known on uh, on, the in on YouTube as x -War Markers, um, and I do a lot of graphic work for people, um, and basically today, hopefully this is the first tutorial and hopefully this will get posted on the Legit Gaming Union, um, but I'm just going to show you how to make a background like the one you see here. Um, so yeah let's get started so first of all I'm going to whip up the template oh no right, if you just close that and open up the template uh, where is it so many templates right uh, so yeah here's the template uh, and I'm just basically going to show you how to make that background back there so first of all you want to go to I'll leave this template in the background first of all you want to go to the shapes layer, go to blending options, go to gradient overlay, change the gradient overlay to, well you can do whatever colours you like, but what I like to do is do uh, a colour, a light, like uh, say a light blue and a slightly darker, light, darker blue, and then click OK, and sometimes it depends, really you can just mess around with these settings, you can change, like make it reverse, make it radial, uh, I'm going to make it ready for this one and yeah that's about it and then what you want to do is go to your shape 1 layer and on the color overlay you just want to change you want to click on the color uh, that you've made your f the like the shapes layer and you just want to make it slightly darker like so so you've got that then what you want to do is you want to make the background so you want to go to the new layer down here drag that right to the bottom go to the gradient tool option and well I like to use dark colors uh, for the background so I select a black and a slightly darker gray um, and just click OK and then I s somewhere in the middle and hold shift and drag out and make sure I'm selecting the radial tool so you've got just like if, you, if I um, get rid of these two you see I've got this like little radial effect um, and you can see there's a bit of a light effect on the sides um, and then all I like to do from here is like add brushes I don't I started off using pictures but now I uh, use a lot lot of brushes and I have a wide variety um, I would leave these in the description uh, but I'm not really sure where they are, but you can um, you can you can just use any brushes really, uh, whatever takes your pick, and looks nice with your background. Um, I'm just gonna whack in a few random ones. Uh, where, what have we got? Da, 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 da. Uh, okay, I'm gonna go for one of these. I'm gonna select the color of white, and I'm just gonna place it on the corner. I'm going to hit hem on my keyboard, go to free transform and make it slightly bigger and then click OK and then all I'm going to do is go to my blend mode up here and change it sub to subtract so you've got like this mix between the black and the blue and uh, I think it looks quite nice so next I am going to add like an effect in the background so you just want to add another new layer I'm going to go to my brushes tool I'll probably add this brush in the description because it's overused so much um, in a lot of backgrounds you'll probably see and it's the starburst effect so I'm just going to use this effect right here uh, I'm just going to select this one make sure it's selected to white and then I'm just going to click anywhere in the middle of the screen and I'm just going to drag it about here and then just drag it under every layer but my background layer then what you want to do is go to the opacity and you can change it to whatever you want really I'm just going to change it to about 10 or about 5 yeah 5 is quite good and I'm just going to go to click on my uh, that layer okay and for some reason it won't and then click M on my keyboard go to free transform vert to horizontal oh sorry um, duplicate your layer and then go to M, free transform, f horizontal, and you just get that like little effect that goes out uh, on the sides. Next, now, norm and then you can uh, 
click on both the layers by clicking control and clicking on both of them and click control E and that just puts them together and it makes it a lot easier uh, and then uh, normally I just add in some text um, so I'm gonna I'm using the text of Grand Nova which can be found at stefont.com and I'm just gonna type in legit gaming oh, gaming union and what I like to do with this with this text is like give it uh, outline it a bit more so what you want to do is go to rasterize on the text layer select your rectangle tool and just get control alt and scroll on your mouse to zoom in and then what you want to do is click a certain portion and click delete on your keyboard and then what we're going to do is go to the move, move tool Or you don't no sorry you don't want to go to the move tool you just want to go to your rectangle tool and just keep moving it on like the squares that you think it needs to be moved on like on the A on the I's on the G's um, on the P's stuff like that so I'm just going to quickly do it for all of these and on the O and you just click anywhere to get rid of the and then you see you've got this kind of text. Then you want to go to M, through transform, through transform. Oh no, sorry, not through transform vertical. Through transform, rotate 90 degrees counterclockwise. And then you can just put it on the side. And then I like to outline my text by going to blending options and giving it a gradient overlay. I'm going to give it the same gradient overlay as I gave the background part, and but. I'll just give it a stroke and I'm going to give it a stroke of white which looks quite nice and then all I'm going to do is duplicate this layer and go to free transform and rotate it to 180 degrees clockwise and place it on the opposite side so you've just got it saying legit gaming union on both sides now obviously you'll take more time than me I'm doing this really quickly and you don't yours don't both have to say legit gaming union they can say other things like subscribe or something like that um, whatever floats your boat really uh, but if you like this video please comment um, if you did and if you didn't comment why you didn't like it and please like this video uh, and that would be really appreciated um, so yeah I'll leave this background in the description I'll leave it as a PSD file so if you want to edit it you can if you don't you don't have to but um, yeah I'll leave it in the description for you guys uh, so yeah cheers this has been my first post on Legit Gaming Union um, see you guys later